Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are jumping into our first ever hardcore Minecraft. <laughs> and me famously long for my introductions. Quickly, I just want to go over some things before jumping right in. So this will be my first hardcore ever. This will be my second time ever playing alone. Um, and I also apologize a little bit because I've been sick the last week and a half, which is why this is a bit delayed. I was hoping to get some of this out sooner. We are going to start filming, but yes, I have never fought the Ender Dragon alone. I have never set up a beacon in my life. I have never used Elytra. I have never fought the Wither. <laughs> I've never even obtained a Wither Skeleton Skull. So, and on top of all of that, I have traditionally always been a bedrock player. So I have Java, I have a dual PC set up. I'm totally set up and ready to go. Got my gear and everything ready. So we just have to start and jump in. Um, I'm debating if I want to try to complete a challenge in each thing, or if I just want to play for 10, 15, 20, 30 days in each episode and see what I can accomplish. I am not, nor have I ever been a builder. I've always been an explorer in Bedrock. Um, but I really want to push myself to see what I can do. I've never done a mega build, so hopefully we can get into some of that. But I feel like I have so much Minecraft experience, but I'm a Java noob, so... <laughs> Be patient with me while I'm figuring all of this out, but I'm excited. I feel really good. We are going to jump into things. You can probably see Minecraft in the reflection, but this is my little like studio office setup that I usually edit and do everything from. So now you guys get to see a little bit of a different perspective. But in saying all of that, let's go ahead, jump in and get started in our first ever Minecraft hardcore world. Obviously, let's see how long we can survive. Let's see what else we can accomplish. And yeah, hopefully you come along for the ride. Let's see how we do. Okay, well, here we go. We are going to go for our first ever hardcore world. Let's go. Cass Hardcore One and let's see where we spawn in. Like I said, not creative, not survival. We are in hardcore. Let's go ahead and create our world and see where we jump in. Part of me, depending on where I spawn, wants to stay where I spawn and just work off of there, but the other part of me wants to find a village first and settle there. So, um, it looks like I am down. Oh, hi. So, upon first inspection, there is clearly an ocean there. I'm really nervous about doing hardcore, just the ability to stay alive. I guess I should have started out by um, showing you guys my Minecraft skin. Here we are in all of our glory. Um, yeah. The other thing I wanted to say was I have looked into like Optifine and oof. Did you see that auto jump? We gotta change some of our settings real quick. Okay. So. Our spawn was literally right here by this red rose. Should be right here. Awesome. Okay. What I was saying is I have looked into Optifine, Replay Mod, everything, but I, <laughs> full transparency, was getting everything set up last night on my PC. And, um... I think I downloaded the wrong link to something or it downloaded with something wrong so 
first day having my PC and I already had to reset it. I wish I had bones to keep you with me. But here's my Minecraft skin. I know how to do a decent amount of stuff, I feel like. Why did I do that? Why? Why? Let's start over here. Okay. I don't know why I uh, did that. But let's do our basic. I want to go like that. Kidding. I want one of these. I barely have enough for this. Okay. Like I said, I'm a little torn if I um, want to hang out right here or what exactly yet. But I am just nervous about starting in my first hardcore world. So I think first, let's see what we can get up into our first day. I think smartest decision would be to find some sheep, but I'm nervous that we won't be able to do that. And we are going to have to end up like holding ourselves off somewhere. Um, just so we can survive our first night. Uh, something else I do want to push myself to do, <gasps> hi cutie, is specifically to avoid caves at all costs. <laughs> um, I saw some stone. <sighs> I would like to avoid caves but I also um, really, really, really want to keep all the stuff that I um, kind of take apart in the world. Okay, so the hunt ooh, for sheepy is still my main goal. Oh, I don't want to mess with K's right now. That is going to be the quickest way my hardcore world will die. <laughs> I would just like to get into a different kind of clearing and or biome. Hi. Oh my gosh. The amount of pack of wolves right here. Hi, chicken. I would love to... um set up a farm but clearly that uh is not going to be an option right now so my main goal in this first day before my first night is obviously to find some sheepies and hopefully i can is that one <gasps> we got a swamp Yes, enough sheep. I am half sorry, nobody look. Do I have enough? I do have enough, so I don't need to take you out. Let's get up on top of this little hill, at least to, oh my gosh. It is like a village of sheep. <laughs> I feel like we need to make our first, I think I'm gonna go to furnaces. I would like to start cooking some meat. Hi. Uh, oh, hi. 
I need to eat. I do need to cut down another tree. One thing I should probably be paying more attention to is getting saplings so that way I can clearly replant and not contribute to deforestation. I really need to make my bed before the first night. So let's get that taken care of. <gasps> I thought I had three wool. Oh my gosh. No, I'm so sorry. Shh, 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 shh. Nobody saw that. <laughs> okay. We have our first bed situation set up. Eat our first bit of food. It's going to be getting dark pretty quick. I got quite a bit of saplings. The sounds of everything. <laughs> I'm not mad at this little swampy area. I definitely <laughs> want to sleep. Like now. Hurry up. Spam sleep, spam sleep. Oh, come on. Thank you. <laughs> Advancement made of sweet dreams. Our first night in Minecraft Hardcore is technically complete. Gather all these saplings. I want to get some of those flowers. Especially because I want to make either magenta or purple for my bed. We will get a stone pickaxe. I should have probably made a stone axe real quick too. And I am from the kind of unpopular opinion that I'm not going to save my first pickaxe. <laughs> Jeez, oh man, saplings. Lots of sticks, lots of saplings. Let's never forget to grab our bed. I think I want to grab some of these blue flowers over here real quick. I def should have made another axe if I'm not willing to... God, I love these flowers. Okay. Is that rare for a bush to spawn? <gasps> Bees! Oh, I don't want to take all your flowers. If only I had silk touch. Hi! Sorry, go find another one. <laughs> I think... I don't hate being near the spruce biome. Let's see, egg. So I got bees there. I would like to see what else I could see <laughs> from here. Actually, let's make myself a stone axe. A stone shovel. Okay. I don't exactly know where I would like to go. I think it kind of settles it for me. Clearly those aren't rare. I think it kind of settles it for me, considering I know where the ocean is, but... Um... The fact that I ended up in a spruce biome right there, I think I kind of want to run around and search for, search for a village. Um, so let me run around a bit. If I find anything cool, I will be back on. Otherwise, honestly, guys, 
it seems like we are near the ocean again here. Okay. So we've got swamp. Let me head over there. I see a ravine. I just want to find a place to kind of set up a first build. You know? <gasps> Glow squid babies. Oh, there's another underwater ravine. Okay, okay. We've got horses and cows. I see pumpkins. Let me grab some of those. But this is a dark oak forest, if I'm correct. So I'm not going to be mad to live here. Clearly, this might be our best place to be, given the fact that I like to build with dark oak the most. The fact that we're near the ocean because since I'm only in 1.17.1, I don't want to do the 1.18 snapshot yet. Um, the only way I'm going to get moss, which is my favorite block, and honestly amethyst, if I get some underwater breathing potions, um, I'll be able to find geodes really easy out here. And then sunken ships, so that way I can get moss. This is a huge looking cave generation. <gasps> I really generally want to stay away from caves, but there is iron right there. So that's a little tempting. Let's, let's see what's up here. So there's a cute gray horse, sunflower field, how does one pick where they want to live, oh, what is this, oh my gosh, look at all these resources, okay, I'm not mad at this spot, could I create some cool kind of like floating above this house? Hi guys. Maybe the first thing I do is just start a little farm kind of right here. I can't remember how to build fences. Okay, 15, that might be enough. I need wheat for them, don't I? Okay. How cute, you're a white one with a little black baby. I think I would like to just build a little like pen situation. I need to get some iron, obviously get some armor, make a shield, those kinds of basic things. I think the most important thing might be armor before building a house. I wish um, one of them would just walk into the pen. Otherwise, we need to start some... This has grass or... Um, other stuff all around it and I don't have any seeds I don't think I don't so let's get some seeds first okay let's plant this a seedy place yay is it already turning nighttime oh my gosh I love how I showed up and there was all these animals <laughs> so we might be laying right here for bedtime I think I want to build in this area for my first night. Come on, it's night time. Let me sleep. Okay, so on to our next day of Minecraft. Wish I could get some bone mill. 
we might dig around in here because I really need the resources, but I would really like to get some of these guys to go in that pen. I could start more of like a little farm. Let's see what's up here. Do a little investigation. It'd be so awesome if a village were somewhere over here. Look at all the cows. Okay. I want to take some of these because I know with the red this will give me purple. Tons of cows. I don't see a village. I love how it's like I'm either going to start where I spawn <laughs> or I'm, and then I end up over here, right in there. Or I'm going to find a village, and then I didn't do either. But you know, that's how things work out. Things change. I love that I will be able to bone mill these. I see there's another cave over here. I do really need some wheat, though, so I could try to lure some of those guys in. Let's just take a peek. Oh yeah, it's legit just like a cave. I think I want to avoid those as long as I possibly can. Look at all the pigs. If I could get some carrots, I could have a full-on farm. Okay. Let's get started over here with some of our sugarcane. Get it going. Do I just go get all that leather? It would give me a lot of meat. Because right now I only have eight. I'm going to need to make... <laughs> I love how I like made this and I don't have anyone in it yet. I don't hate this. I could turn this into a house too. In the hill right here, go a little hobbit themed. Go back over and take some of the um, mushrooms and do it that way. So there's a cave here. I'm glad I noticed that so I didn't just fall in. Tons of sticks. Let's take a peek up here and see what's going on up here. Sweet. This is cute right here. Do I build just into what's already here? I'm like not mad at it. I'm not mad at this whole area. Because this could be really cute in here too. Hmm. I could kind of build in this whole little valley. Do I do that instead? Hmm. Let's see. I think let's be smart. Yes, I'm going to use all of my wooden first pickaxe. But this will give us some very much needed coal. And I think we might just have to brave um, going into some of the cave areas that I didn't really want to. Do I make... Okay. Do I make this all my gardening area? And then do my house on the other side in the valley over there? I think it would be cool to build something kind of around above this. I don't know. Too many ideas in my head. I don't see any like super easy free ore. Or did I? And I'm just, I did. Okay, over there. I gotta get my first iron, guys. It's gonna be day two and I don't have any yet. 
So if I saw correctly, it's kind of down right here. Where did I see it? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's try again. Oh, I was literally right on it. Okay. Where's the sun? Okay, we got a couple minutes. I at least want to make a shield and some kind of like something. You know, something a little protective would be really nice. Okay, let's see what we could do here real quick. It was right here. I was like, where did it just go? How did I lose it again? Okay, we got our first two pieces of raw iron. I'm not going to say no to copper either. Not a lot of iron, but it's my first pieces. Obviously, since it's so little, we're going to turn it into... Um, we're going to turn it into a shield. First iron obtained. Let's go. Why can't I make a shield? Duh. Shield obtained. I think I'm going to make all this my garden area. Make myself a little garden hut in this kind of built in with that already naturally like that. And then on the other side that was that valley. I might consider making my first house. I think I'm going to sleep and go take a peek at some of those cows over there. <laughs> Just so I could try to get some more meat. Because otherwise I got to wait till this grows. And clearly she'd taken a minute. And I do think it's going to be a bit hard to um, specifically keep everything or use everything sleep 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 okay let's go pay those cows just a quick visit unless that I really need that to grow but yeah, I've never been a builder, so we'll see what I could get up to. But I think that front area, all farming, build a cute mushroom-inspired house right here would be really cute. I know horses drop leather too, but I don't really want to wipe out a horse if I don't have to. This is good if I could find a saddle, though, if they all chill and hang out, because... Then it won't be so difficult to get a fast boy. As I said, I have never been um, one to use or have really an elytra ever before. So I've only ever like traveled by foot, I guess. So the idea of all of that would be nice, you know? I missed, I missed. Sorry, cows. Oh, and I missed him. <laughs> so, while I took a quick break, I dyed my bed magenta. I have a few sheepies here. I dyed one red. This one was, that was naturally black, but... I dyed one red, have those for babies in here. I did a slight bit of terraforming just to cut these like two layered hills off. I think I might cut this layer back a little bit more like right here because I don't necessarily mind the hills. I just don't want them to be like so specific. 
I do still have this hole there. Um, but up here, hold on, let me back up a bit. What I think I'm going to do here is do the little garden gnome hut, kind of like I said. So I think I'm going to close it over like this. When I get glow berries, I think that would be an awesome place to hang it. I want to make this hole like steps up right here, probably some of this birch. So I might scoot over and chop some of it. I think I want to make the whole interior wood. And I think I'm going to have the floor be barrels. Like I said, I think house, first house, I want to make a mushroom and build it in here. That's my goal. But in here we've just done some basic, really simple barrel storage. I think it's no longer an option where I'm avoiding going. I have, so I noticed I have a little bit of a cave there. You guys obviously know that huge thing right there. There is a cave that is right, right there. And then we know already that there is a hole right there, which I see some iron in that. I do need that coal. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do and how I want to do it because I do think it would be cool. Let me place it. I do think it would be cool to have kind of something coming off, you know, somewhere over here, at least something coming out, you know, and it doesn't necessarily need to connect in my opinion. Um, but I think it would be cool. So let's get back down since it's turning night. While I was doing that stuff, I think I slept twice. So currently it's already day five. It's funny um, how quickly days can pass by. So if we could take a peek at that real quick, I think that would be cool. I'm not necessarily trying to have it finished in, but yeah, I wanna make it more like the little gnome type hole. So I think it's unavoidable at this point. I do need to go down. I do need to get some more stuff. I have no iron. So I think at the very least I need to be going until I get some more iron. How do I say this? In my, <laughs> in my normal world, I'm like my normal bedrock worlds. I'm very good at starting things and never finishing them. I do think it would be cool to terraform this. So yeah, I think this will be my first build. We'll focus on this. I might slope this down to the water a little better. And then I think for sure I'm going to bring that side down to slope it like that over here a bit. I'm probably going to tear down quite a bit of birch in the process. Um, but like I said, I think it's unavoidable. <sighs> I don't really want to um, go into any caves. I feel like that is the quickest and easiest way to lose your hardcore world. So I'm scared. But I do see some resources. I do have a shield. I don't have a um, sword. <laughs> I'm a big person of lighting up on my right side. But I think, oh, it's a ravine. Oh my goodness. Okay. I um, am not at all ready to tackle like 90% of this, but I need to get some iron and coal. I need more coal already because I'm going to be running out. I think at the very least to start. Oh, I am so stressed out, guys. I don't. Oh, thank God. This one doesn't go anywhere. Awesome. Okay. Let's gather these resources and safety. I'm over lighting up because I just don't trust anything. I think um, this is going to be the most nerve wracking part of everything for me. I say that, but like I said, like I have never fought the um, 
like dragon alone or anything. So that, of course, that stuff scares me. I probably absolutely should make another crafting table. Um, let's make a few sticks. Oh, I already had some. I don't want to use all of it just in case. So let's be smart. Yeah, because I figured there was some more. Okay. I'm glad I came this way first, especially considering the other areas of ravine, which is going to be incredible for being able to get diamond and stuff, but I also know it is the quickest way to die. Wouldn't it be cool, you guys, if we could transform the entire ravine? I have seen builds, like, on Reddit of people transforming their ravines. That would be dope. I think we should do that. Okay, <laughs> I can't plan too many projects. Let's work on the shed first. Most importantly, though, I need to get armor. So... Above all else, that is like my biggest, biggest, biggest thing I need to get. And this looks like a decent size iron vein, which I am so appreciative of. And I'm lighting up everything. I trust nothing. <clears throat> I trust nothing. So let's back up in here for a second so I at least have my back against the wall. Oop, I need to dig some more cobbystone. I know I also need to be very careful up here considering this could collapse on me and I definitely don't want that. Let's cook up some of our iron. I think I left my one piece of iron upstairs. Theorizing ideas. We could build something above this. My partner came down here right before he just left now and he suggested like, wouldn't it be cool if I did like a witch's hut? Since I'm going for the more mushroomy type vibe, of some kind just like floating up here and make this like my whole mine area, that could be cool. So, oh gosh, so much inspiration for things already. <clears throat> Let's first start with getting some iron to get some stuff. Obviously, right away, the first thing we need is an iron pickaxe. That's non-negotiable <laughs> in case we come across anything good. I'm only going to have enough iron for boots, which is not enough for anything. Ooh, and if I'm down here poking around, I absolutely, 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 yay, I need to go get my bed. Let's breed you guys. Hello. Why do like none of you seem interested? Okay. I think I should have done that the other way. Oh, I got a pink and a gray sheaf. I forgot that they do that. I He's not naturally spawn, but I think it's a given that I need to name every pink sheep AK. <laughs> I will link to AK in the description below, guys. He is our pink sheep that's part of our like mod crew um, for Looney. And we've all, like, we're all in this pact. If we find a natural spawning pink sheep, we're naming him AK. But I kind of, I kind of want to name all my pink sheep AK. That's dependent on me getting a villager and <laughs> getting name tags, but um, it can be done. Let's grab our bed, take it with us. I would like to get... What else can I lead over here? I know I have more sheep. Okay, let's be smart. I don't feel like I need any of these sheep over there. Oh, break my ankles. 
but I would like to get some of those uh, cows if I can, because this is quite the walk that they would have to do, because this is all horses, and I think I murdered all the cows <laughs> that were over here. The reason I picked magenta, yes, I love my purple hair and everything, but the biggest reason I picked magenta, guys, is because that's my color within my mod group. Um, and I'm sure that doesn't make any sense to really anyone, and that is... Oh, we have lava! Oh no, okay. Um, I would like to get these guys back going to be nighttime, so clearly I'm going to have to uh, default to sleeping first. I have lava. Oh shoot, okay. We gotta go check out what that is in case that ends up being like a lava pool or um, a ruined portal. So let me sleep. I want to get these guys back. I hope I just don't burn too much of the forest down. Okay, cow, cow, okay, come on cows. I think I definitely need the cows for the leather, obviously. Um, and it's going to be more conducive for me to do it this way than having to run around. Um, I would rather not kill any horses if I don't have to. Let's be careful with the hole that's over here. Are both of you still coming? Good job. Okay, we're so close. Oh, as I'm leading you into the hole, I just said I wanted to avoid. So there's another cave there. I gotta be mindful of all this when I'm going to build my main house here. Come on, Moose. Come on, Moose. Okay, I need to breed you guys more than I need to breed anything else. So let's go peek at that lava. See what we can find. I'm hoping it's a ruined portal, but if not, it's all good. Having view bobbing off while running makes me feel like I'm the slowest person in the world. Where did we see the lava from? There it is. What is going on over here? Boop, boop, boop. -boo. Let's go take a peek. It's got to be a lava pool, right? There's like nothing else that it could be. Lava pool, lava pool. Hi, cuties. Oh no, your forest is going to burn down. Let's not start ourselves on fire. It is, it is a lava pool. Let's just clear it out so it doesn't become a um, bigger forest fire. Like it's already doing! I'm trying! I don't want to get to the point of having to punch trees, but you know, if we're there, we'll at least stop a forest fire. Oh no! Shoot! We're going back to our roots. I want to separate these trees off, guys. But I would like to stop the forest fire! Come on! Oh, it's still it's spreading faster than I could catch it! I do want to peek this way just a bit into the field. Hi, horsies. Because, again, my biggest thing is, of course, I want to find a village. But I don't see one. I'm just thinking about how far I'm going to have to travel <laughs> if I want to bring villagers back to my area. Or if I set up villagers somewhere, how far I'm going to have to travel to get back to them. You know? Yeah, I think we should just keep growing this out. 
Honestly, also because it just spawn proofs everything, and like, why wouldn't I want to do that? You know? Let's be smart. I don't think I want to go that way. Let's go this way with it. Make this whole like peninsula like that. We'll sleep right here. That scared me. I thought those were creeper feet. <laughs> kind of think I want to turn the whole interior of this on the sides to like dirt and then that way the floor can all be wood which I have more than enough dirt to uh, do this <laughs> we've got our bed we've got food we do have an iron pickaxe we have sticks wood crafting table furnace if we need it I do want to take some dirt for some building blocks just in case because you never know we need to go get iron it is a uh, non-negotiable anymore so we already cleared out this side I want to peek a bit in that one cave miss I'm not doing caves over there first I think because I recognize this is the ravine and I don't really want to mess around. It looks like it's a decent cave. I think it would be epic to transform it. I do need to get resources though. So I saw iron. Yep, it's over there. My biggest concern with caves is everything being able to fall on me. Okay, so maybe we go out this way a bit more. It's getting dark, so I might sleep over here. <gasps> it's exactly what is so scary about gravel. Okay, I'm going to dig around a bit. See if I could dig around this whole kind of like top layer and light it up. And then I'll touch base with you guys after that. Okay. Here is a semi-update. Um, you can see kind of by that gravel and that piece, um, let's not die, that everything that is up there is our area. We came down and blocked that off. Now we've kind of built down around coming around this way. I want to light this up along this little ridge take it as far that way as I can and loop back around um, and it's mostly because I want to clear out these sections from above because I feel like getting down in the ravine is usually like stuff from up here will fall on you and obviously I would like to avoid that so I'm just going around digging this whole layer out and I kind of thought if I did this and made layers whenever we come back in here and do something we could create different layers of stuff you know when we transform this later I did find a little bit more iron in that pocket clearly there's some there but I didn't want to just dig straight down I hear the zombie boy, but I don't know where he is. I assume he's underneath me somewhere. I am really nervous to fight the first thing that I end up fighting. <laughs> and I probably should have made a, um, another shovel. I'm already in a server where we don't sleep. So, like, I don't don't really want to keep doing that if I don't have to. <laughs> I do want to get all the way around to the end of the ravine down over here. Then I think I might call it a day with digging. I'm a little um, curious if you guys tune in kind of for a bit of your feedback about how long you would like these episodes to be if you would like to see the entire journey through everything because I can record everything um I did get asked if I was gonna live stream from a couple of my friends and I said no 
I'm not necessarily 100% opposed to the idea of live streaming. Um, it's just not my comfortable space, I guess. I did set myself up with Streamlabs to, um, to be able to live stream if I want to. Um, but the question is, is do I want to? Not really. So we see there's flowing water. I wonder if that's coming in from the ocean. And we just have like a hole. I wonder if this was meant to be like an underwater ravine. So let's see. Because I know that we noticed a creepy boy. I think, yep, it comes in from the ocean, so I don't feel like I need to go all the way around. Um, I legitimately, not gravel, I legitimately feel like we can... Kind of try to loop these around like this. So, hi fishies. So this is the first area kind of all mapped out a bit. It's our first layer of our ravine kind of dealt with. I do have iron here I absolutely want to grab. This is my path up and down, so I don't want to mess with this too much. Drop. I think we'll have 11, so I might be able to get a chest plate. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we have this area. This could be our mine shaft. Because with eight, I can get a chest plate. Awesome. So I'm not going to have enough for pants yet. Was there iron anywhere down there? I think I'm going to leave these here. We can always come back here later. Okay. Let's tend to our crops a bit. Some of this basic, very beginning Minecraft stuff we all know we got to do and take care of. And I honestly don't mind doing most of it. Um, give me all the gardening in the world and I will take it. It would be awesome at some point. I've never brewed potions either. So it would be awesome at some point to brew some. So I could find some geodes and some sh shrunken ships. <laughs> That looks like another underwater cave situation over there. Okay. Let's take care of these a bit. I think I want to do that really quick. Let's focus on extending everything out. Um, and breeding the sheep and the cows. I do feel like I have enough... Um, I have enough stuff to make a decent size, like, fenced-in area. I think I want to cook some more beefy boys. What did I do with my copper? I don't know why I put those in there. 
Let's go copper. Um, let's put all my stone and gravel in here because I've got my dirt one here. Flowers there. Meat and leather here. Let's see what day we're on. We're on day 11 already. Which is awesome, to be honest. Keep this on me always. Um, let's spread this out. Shears. Usually this is like the first thing I end up making. Um, but... Come here, white sheep. Come here. Flip. No, give me that other one. No, I need it. Give me that white. Urgh. I don't want to jump in there yet. I do have three, so I can make... Oh. Oh, I only needed two for three of these. Okay, awesome. I've got ten more. Let's at least... Loop it around right here. Okay. I need an axe. It is like not doable without one. I say we breed these puppies up. Everyone breeds with everyone. Let's see what colors we get in three, two, one. I kind of wanted more red, but we'll take three pink sheep apparently now. Even though I started with gray, pink is all powerful, AK. You're taking over. I did get a baby gray. Okay, I feel like I definitely need to focus on getting more red. So let's honestly take some of this dye real quick. Let's make sheeps of all colors. Oh, that was the first pinkish sheep. I think we can only ever have one pink one and you will be protected, little AK. I gotta have a white one. Maybe I don't have a black one. Cause black will be easy. So you're gonna be yellow. Okay, I think those are some good colors to have for sure. We'll keep breeding in them, all that awesome stuff. Okay. Now I think the next most important thing we can do at this stage is terraform this. So I'm going to keep this tree here, probably sheer some leaves from that one to fill this in a little bit. Um, just to be smart, because I want that one to stay. Oh, that was close. And in the words of, I believe, is it Cookie? <laughs> I think it's Cookie that says, like, you can legitimately never have enough leaves. So, you know, we gotta do stuff. We gotta add leaves. We gotta take care of some stuff. Let's at least not fall down in anything is the biggest thing. Okay. Let's chop these. That way we can terraform the side of the mountain down. Plant some pretty flowers there. Let me get to terraforming, adding some leaves, let's see, let me get to terraforming, adding some leaves in here, and then I will check back in with you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm just over here terraforming, I filled in the tree, I'm far away because you'll see in a second, I almost got ambushed, and I'm scared, so I was over here like, Filling in the dirt, filled in this tree, you know, with all these leaves. 
I was like, mm, I'm doing all this work over here and then this entire tree is blocking it. So I'm cutting it down and I hear something behind me. And I just slept. There was raiders right there. Why aren't they moving? Why does it feel like they're glitched out? Are they glitched out? I saw the banner boy. So where did he go? Because he's the most worrisome of them all to me. I don't have villagers here. Why are they not moving? So this tree's decaying. I'm building in the land. I swear I saw a banner boy. Why aren't they moving? I don't want to die already. Why aren't they moving? I mean, he moved, but he's not shooting. Piggy. They're both like ready to shoot me. Why aren't they shooting me? What is going on, guys? Can I keep them? Where's your banner boy? <laughs> okay. This is why I feel like having a stone sword. <laughs> Thanks for taking him out for me, man. Ha! Monster Hunter. I swear they had a banner boy. Where did it go? So we got our first, <laughs> not today, thank you achievement and monster hunter achievement. That was so strange that they were like glitched out. Where did the banner boy go? Hi cuties. I need to like save these cutie patoots. Hmm. Strangest thing. Anyway, I'll show you guys the progress real quick since I came back to film half glitched out getting attacked. Um, so I was doing this whole situation. I forgot to say I did die a bunch of these babies. I don't know if I showed that. So I've got a bunch of dye on these cutie patoots. Um, my bed's just chilling. Um, but I did get pants. I got some more armor. Oh, I got an arrow. Oh, I got an arrow in my booty. Um, it's because I went down in here. I just have leaves over it, but I went and got the iron that was down in there. I figured it was probably smart to cover it up while I'm, um, over here doing things. But, yes, um, I wanted all of this to decay. These won't decay because I placed them, huh? I just covered that in because I don't want to cover it in with dirt yet. But I am working on the terraforming. I feel like I need to tighten it up a bit more right here. As I threw my mic over <laughs> and it hit F5 twice. <laughs> Goodness. So I feel like I need to make this feel a little more rounded right here. So I'm working on this, terraforming this. Here's the back side. I am leaving it hollow because I think it would be cool. This was already naturally like this, but I do think this would be cool to 
I can I, I can go through carpet, can't I? Or no? I don't know. Trap door probably down from my storage like shed kind of thing up there. I think it would be cool to make some more of like a storage situation in here. So maybe trap door up there where my um what do you call it? My Oh my gosh, my little like gardening hut down through here with ladders make more of a I don't know backup storage of some kind here I am still terraforming this like I said though and I don't want it to look too much like stairs so I've got quite a bit of work to do um I do only have two left of dirt Okay, I do think I need to make this look a little more rounded right here, like I was saying. You know, maybe I need to go to bed. I do something like this, and then it just transfers over like this. Just quick break my legs, and I gotta go to bed. Sorry, I am so sick, guys. I mean, I'm not sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. But just from the, like, standpoint of what I can and can't, like, obviously what I can and can't control in the situation, which is really not a lot of anything. I wasn't intending to bring it out this way, but I'm not, like, mad at it. And I saved this piggy, he was hanging on a one block kind of situation up over there. I may just have to go dig more dirt out to terraform over here a bit more. Oh, I am probably going to have to get more dirt. Yes, 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 I will. Which is fine, because I actually want to dig this back to have this pond be more exposed. So let's make another shovel. Not an iron one. No, 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 no. That's too expensive for me with my non-iron crew over here, guys. Too expense. Just to terraform it a little better, to blend in a little nicer over here. I do want to cut it back this way a bit. Open up everything over here a bit more. Definitely want to take this layer down right here. For sure. And even though this is like my hut area for gardening all over here, I think I just want this space opened up too because it's cute. So I did, while I'm doing this, we might as well just chat. I might as well ramble. So. As I've already explained, I'm a newbie when it comes to anything hardcore. Never done it in my life. I've always been a bedrock player. Like, Java has never been my thing, ever. Um, so I'm decently intimidated by it. I think it helps that I have a lot of very wonderful friends in the scene that are amazing at helping me understand everything. Plus, I think it's helpful. I mean, I work with some amazing people with Looney as well. So I've just learned so much from them, which has been amazing enough in its own. Um, so I feel like more confident. We play Hypixel, all that kind of stuff. So like, yes, that has given me so much more confidence like all around. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not, like, 
pretty darn intimidated with a lot of things given the fact that like I don't know that much um I don't know how to do things I've never brewed potions like that kind of stuff that I know I've kind of already mentioned off and on anywho what I was trying to say I feel like and I don't have a bucket yet I do have exactly enough iron for a bucket, so that's where this remaining iron is going to go. <laughs> you will realize, like, I have great intentions, um, but sometimes it is very difficult for me to stay on task, especially given, like, the TBI I sustained um, via my accident. But what I was trying to say is I am not going to be on the same level of like fast paced, hardcore kind of player that a lot of people are in their Minecraft world. I'm not upset about that. Um, I'm just hoping that, you know, some people will be patient with me in the fact that I'm not going to be that way, like really probably at all. Um, and yes, that's just my personal preference. I also recognize I can play the game however I want to play the game of course um but I just hope some people are patient with me like that yeah I think it's looking pretty good might add like one or two more right there or taper this a bit um but I think the little hut is working good I definitely see I feel like I need to plant more trees right here so I'll take care of that as well I really want to keep you. You're so pretty. Okay. I'm going to pause. I'll come back when I feel like this is done. So I was able to extend out my sugar cane all the way around the loop. I did clip all their hair to take care of some of that. I did make two, I was going to say coal. I did make two copper blocks. This one's already oxidizing. This is our terraforming so far. So I finished this. I planted that tree and I feel like it's a little too tall, but I want to see how these two grow in before I make any decisions. I might plant another one right here around this little pond we terraformed there. Ooh, it would even oxidize more while I was standing on it. I would really like to keep this horse, but <gasps> best friends, but I don't have a saddle. No, I will use all of my wood to keep you here. This is chaotic. Um, and that's an understatement, <laughs> but I kind of feel, oops, I kind of feel like I have no other way to keep this cute little baby in the hole. Hopefully he stays, um, he's my best friend forever to begin with. Hopefully he shouldn't despawn. I can't name tag him yet, but because I loved him, we gotta get him a saddle. We can see Mr. Cutie Patoots. Let's open this one up. I am so sorry you're stuck in here for a minute. I love you. We need to come up with a name for you. I gotta get you a saddle. And then I'll build you a really nice stables, maybe in this area. So for right now, I'm really sorry, buddy. It oxidized already fully. Awesome. That one hasn't done anything. Anyway, what I was going to say, this looks really unnatural having these color of leaves on this tree. Um, is I did work on this. So I feel like I'm going to extend the front out slightly so I can have some better stairs. But I worked on this, added more barrels. I don't have anything in most of these. 
stone, flowers, garden stuff, food. Um, I can add those back to that birch tree. Here's all of our wool so far. Um, there's my food. That's my ore. And this is all my wood for right now. Um, but what I was gonna say, instead of letting these naturally grow, um, I don't have enough iron to make, what is the name of the thing I'm looking for? I want to make an automated, what's the thing called where you have to have the, It, like, you have to have iron to make it. An anvil? No, it's the... Bucket? No, it's the thing where, like, if I... You know how an hour on the realm I made the, like, automated bone mill farm? Copper. There you go. So I don't have that. But I need to make an automated eventual version of this. But I want to grow, at least see if I can grow these. I trapped a horse in a... <laughs> in something. Yay! That one grew. I need to get a saddle. Yay! Okay. Let's see. Okay. So I tried to grow these, and I don't necessarily hate them. I want to call him Pelomino, I think. You cute. Um, but I feel like that one's still just too tall. And I don't know if I like that that one's right there. So I think I'm going to chop this one and try again over here. But I did want to put these in here because these leaves got all messed up. Um, when the trees grew near each other. Let's make another axe, and then I might actually cut it here today, because we are on day 17 already. Yeah, this one isn't working, so I think, I think, I don't know, what do I want to do? I think I want to try to grow another one a little further back and not so much right there in the front in case I bring the whole front section out more. So let me get another tree and see if we can get it to grow. But like I was saying, I need the hoppers and more stuff to be able to make an automated version of this. Um, I do have some wheat though, so I can make some more. What was I looking to grab? Oh, a sapling. I just need one. Just need one sapling. And right here, I just at least want another thing of bone mill. Oh no, well, it's gonna change. I didn't need another sapling. Oh goodness. Okay. I think I wanna try it right here and see what happens. Of course, that didn't do anything. I'm gonna let these leaves decay. I wanna let a tree grow right there, but we might have to mess around with tree placement for a minute. Um, and see what happens. I guess I could always trim it out with more trees in the long run to kind of fill this area out more. I like that better. So if that grows and that one looks good, I'll probably keep it and maybe do the same thing by bringing down more things there. I think this might be where I stop it. So I think eventually I'm gonna attach this. I would love to get the glow berries. I know there's glow lichen down in that cave, so I can maybe do some of that in here. Eventually grab enough iron to make an automated um, 
bone meal farm. And yeah, I think that might be where I'm going to leave it for today. I do have plenty of the leaves. But we scored ourselves a horse. Gotta make him a stable. I think this is where we're gonna end this first episode. First, let's eat a piece of steak, which I would never eat in real life. Let's come breed all these babies real quick. Just run around in circles and see who breeds with you for what color. Awesome, cool. Let's see what color. Oh, we got our purple one! Cute! We got a white one, a gray one, a purple one, and another light blue one. I think we have to keep just the one pink sheep, and hopefully, then I can naturally find one. Um, that will forever be our AK. But with that, with our field started, having gone into our ravine here, having a plan for here, um, and then obviously, like I mentioned on the other side of this hill, I think this is where we'll end up building I've got two caves, a cave there that I need to clear out and light up, but I'm going to make a huge mushroom house here, I think is going to be my goal. Um, I'm not super against the cottage core aesthetic. I'm more of like on the green witch side of things. So unfortunately I can't get that one to grow. Let's pick up these saplings. But like I said, I think think when I come back next time I'm gonna extend this out just the tiniest bit to make some more stairs up maybe create stairs off the back check in how this one grows fill that in more and then that's where I will come in next week when I come back but I think this is where we are going to end it for our very first episode. We bred babies, we cleared out, we terraformed, we checked out this area, we have a horsey in there, we got garden stuff going, we have a lot of colored sheep which makes me very happy. So we need an orange one and a green one. What other col colors am I missing? A black one again, I guess. Um... But yeah, this is our little house area. And yeah, that's where I'm going to end this episode, guys. Um, and thank you so much for tuning into my first hardcore. We are ending on day 18. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Yay! Bye, guys.